Prince of Peace. And of the increase of his government, the peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon the kingdom to order it and to establish it within the judgment and with the justice from therefore and ever, for ever, even forever. The seal of God, the zeal of God, the zeal of the Lord of the host will perform this. Now, the reason I want to get to, it says up to the top of verse 6 again, unto us a child is born and unto us a son is given. Now that word son is the Hebrew word bin not or bin. I'm not a great pronouncer of Hebrew word, but I can tell you what the meaning is. Matter of fact, I didn't learn until I was 33 how to read. So I think I'm doing pretty good for a person who learned at the age of 32. That's why I'm saying, hey, nothing God can't do for you. I'm telling you, I don't care how well you read or how bad you read or how great you read. As long as you get it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Write it the way you want to write it. Say it the way you want to say it. As long as you get it. Amen? Amen. Because God said it's a mystery to them who are without, but he will reveal it to those who are in. Amen. But the word benign obey, it means a builder of the family name. It means a builder of the family name. And child, you that. Something born of mere flesh. I guess you're the father of these kids. Or just a brother, or whatever. But we're just born of mere flesh. Right? So, let's read that verse again. For unto us a child, mere flesh, is born, man and woman. Is born unto us a son is given. Now, unto us a child of mere flesh is born, but unto us a builder of the family name. A builder of the family name. Y'all not getting it. So this is Jesus' prophecy. A builder of the family name is given. Who's that family today? Christians! We're the family! Hello! A builder of the family name is given. Now, in the Greek, it's called the word, you will see it capitalized, son. It's the Greek word, we us, which started my ministry, because my ministry is called We Us of the Living God, issues of or an addictions ministry for men and women. We us, son of the living God. It's the Hebrew, I mean the Greek word for son, and it means one who displays the character and characteristics of the father. Hmm. The other Greek word for just mere birth is called tekla. It means you've just been born. But you have been given we us. Go to Galatians chapter 4. Galatians 4. And then we're going to come to a close. Did y'all get anything out of this tonight? Amen. 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 Are y'all ready to be we us? Amen. Amen. There you go, right there. Amen. Galatians chapter 4. Because I'm trying to tell you that once you become whole and get in Christ the right way, you become heir. So you need to learn your identity, people. You're an heir. You're the son of the earth. You're an ambassador for his name's sake. You're a minister of reconciliation. You're a prince. You're a princess. You Come on, man. Look at all these things you are. Come on. I say it all the time. You need to learn your identity in the word. Once you learn your identity, your identity ain't a crackhead. Your identity ain't homelessness. Your identity ain't alcohol. Then I guarantee you, your head will go from being in this position to being in this position. Jesus never prayed with his head down. He always prayed with his head up. He always looked up. I can't find one scripture where his eyes was closed. He always looked toward heaven and said, Father. Amen. 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 Can y'all show me where scripture says? He got on his knees, closed his eyes, and stuff for in uh, the garden of the and he still looked up. Amen. 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 Now, don't get me wrong. It's an act of humility in certain steps. But you know what? My real act of humility is I'm going to lay prostate. But I was talking to somebody, come, you won't lay prostate because you got on too good of clothes. Get real prostate before God. If you need that. But Galatians 4 1, look at it. Now I say that the heir, the heir, as long as he is a child, a technon, different nothing from a servant or a slave, regular employee, though he be Lord of all. But it's under what? Tutors? Governors? Until the time of putting it on the father. So that means you got to be taught again. And you get away with mature saints of God. Amen. People who will bring you to accountability. That's the problem with most of us. We don't want to be accountable to nobody. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Verse 3. Even so we, when we were children.
children were in bondage of the what? Elements of the world. Bondage with the elements of the world. The ABC of the world. ABC these of the world. But not God. But, verse 4, but when the fullness of time has come, God sent forth his son, see it capitalized? We are. God sent forth the one who displays my character and characteristics. Come on, oh my God. Made of a woman, made of the law to redeem, rescue you. That were under the law that we might receive the adoption of sons. Welcome to being adopted. Oh Amen. Be verse 6. And because you are sons, God has sent forth his spirit of his son into your hearts. Crying what? Our Father. That word there is an old Arabic word, and it means daddy, daddy. See, until God becomes daddy, daddy to you, instead of just God, when he becomes father to you, instead of just God, Till you get a real relationship with him, you won't move into holiness. Because your father ain't going to judge you. Your father is not going to condemn you. God's of this world, man. Amen? But your father, which you ought to have, will not condemn you. Amen? Amen? Amen. Come on, people. Get up out your condition. Nobody's condemning you. There ain't nobody to your left or right that has not experienced what you experienced. Because if you're in this room, you're all the same. But God also sent people to love you through this, man. You think these people come to volunteer because they just woke up one morning and, and just said, you know what, I think I need a prize from God. I believe in God for blessing them. No, it was laid on somebody's heart in their ministry and said, you know what, and I just love the fact that I see young folk. Because they're learning how to give it's good to teach them how to get it. Because so many young folk today are so desensitized. You know, like I said it before, I don't know whether it's the rap music and the TV show they're watching, but they can watch a head get chopped off, ain't no big deal. When I was growing up his age, I saw that, boy, I was scared all night. I was getting in the bed with mine. Now it ain't nothing. But it ain't nothing. They can walk by dead bodies on the street. It don't mean nothing. See bullets. Instead of them running the house hiding, they want to see the action. Oh, I can't wait to get one of them nines. <laughs> Don't make sense to me. But we need to retrain them again. We need to retrain them again. Amen? Amen. Final verse. Final verse. Let's go to John 20. And we definitely go. John 20. Final verse. Just so. No, make that, uh, I'm sorry, I was wrong. It wasn't John 20. Uh, I, think about 20. I want to be sure. There was one where they fell down backwards. Anybody know what that is? Oh, yeah. oh, my God. No, it's 18. Wait a minute, I think it's 18. There you go. There you go. It's 18. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got it. Don't worry. I got it right here. I got it right here. This is what I wanted you to get to. Okay. Hey, come on, come on. Wait. The reason why I'm bringing this out is because when you finally change your heart, change your condition from being cleansed, healed, and be made whole, there wasn't nothing in the Bible that happened with Jesus that can't happen with us. Because he said, greater works than you would do than I would do. So when people come to seek to hurt you and seek to betray you, you need to stand on who you are. You need to stand on who you are. And let me show you what will happen if you stand on who you are. You ready? Yeah. All right. Verse 4, 18, 20, I mean 18, verse 4. Jesus therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Who do you seek? For they were coming to arrest him to crucify him. He said, Who do you seek? And they answered him and said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. The word I am that I am. Self-existing one. He spoke his true name. I am he. Self-existing. 
thing one. What did it say next? Amen. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. Verse 6. As soon then as he had said to them, I am he, they went backward and fell to the ground. Amen. When you begin to walk in your identity, and somebody says, Who are you? I am he whom God delivered. <laughs> Amen. When you begin to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and people begin to come at you, you're going to have such an anointing around you, and they're going to say, Look, dude, you ain't nothing. You're wrong. I am right in you. They're going to turn away. Amen. Learn your identity. Read the next verse. Then ask ye them again, whom you see? And they said, Jesus the Nazareth. Jesus said, They're not telling you I'm here. They're not trying to tell you I'm here. Why? You don't believe me? Don't let family members, co-workers, friends, or neighbors take your identity from you. Let them know that I am wrapped in I am. Amen. Amen. Father, we just thank you for this word. I thank you for those who are coming to you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the rest series, Father. I know there was a lot of revelation here. There may have been some people who even thought it was taken out of context, but I know it was meant for someone. Somewhere, somehow, because this man ain't the best, he ain't the greatest, but he is wrapped in who is the greatest. Because ain't nobody greater than you, Lord. And I thank you for this in the mighty name of Jesus. So I pray that they get on the activating event. Amen? Amen. And learn their belief so that they can change their behavior and so that they can walk with you to erase, trace, and replace all those things that have been hindering them becoming productive Christians. And we thank you for them. And we just want everybody to stay in this house. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.